Hello everybody. And welcome to Univ English channel. It's all my pleasure to meet you again in this series of e-learning lectures, aimed at developing your knowledge and skills in the area of ESP, English for specific purposes. This is lecture number 12. Learning needs and target needs. Types of needs analysis. By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to Define the meaning of needs analysis. Describe the types of needs analysis in ESP. Identify the characteristics of learning needs and target needs. But, before we move forwards, if you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. So, let's begin with this question. How can you define needs analysis in ESP, English for specific purposes? Introduction ESP is designed to prepare students to use English in various academic settings and fields, such as economics, politics, medicine, professional fields, people from engineering and related fields, and the workplace, like hotel receptionists and technicians. Accordingly, it is vital to use needs analysis to design specific courses to address each of these categories. The needs analysis process involves doing some sort of activity with a learner to determine what their learning needs are. This may be considered to be the most crucial aspect of curriculum development and teaching English for specific purposes, ESP. The ESP lecturer or course designer can use need analysis to get a detailed understanding of students' needs and use that insight to design the materials that will be given to the learners. An effective need analysis allows lecturers and course designers to develop concept maps in the ESP course with a clear focus on students' learning needs and target needs. Definition of Needs Analysis Graves, 2098, considers needs analysis as a systematic and ongoing process of gathering information about students' needs and preferences, interpreting the information, and then making course decisions based on the interpretation in order to meet the needs. Highland, 2006, 73, presents a holistic, multi-layered view of needs analysis. He claims that Needs analysis refers to the techniques for collecting and assessing information relevant to course design, it is the means of establishing the how and what of a course. It is a continuous process, since we modify our teaching as we come to learn more about our students, and in this way it actually shades into evaluation, the means of establishing the effectiveness of a course. Needs is actually an umbrella term that embraces many aspects, incorporating learners' goals and backgrounds, their language proficiencies, their reasons for taking the course, their teaching and learning preferences, and the situations they will need to communicate in. Needs can involve what learners know, don't know or want to know, and can be collected and analyzed in a variety of ways. Types of Needs Analysis ESP, English for Specific Purposes, course is designed to meet learners' needs in terms of language proficiency and content. Learning needs and target needs are both important indicators to determine learners' needs. Need analysis involves two fundamental distinctions, target need, what needs to be done in the target situation, and learning need, what learners need to do in order to learn. They are important indicators to determine learners' needs. Hutchinson and Waters, 1987, propose a needs analysis classification. Target needs. Target needs refer to what learners need to do to communicate effectively in the target situation. According to Hutchinson and Waters, 1987, target needs are mainly related to what the learner needs to do in the target situation. In practice, the term target needs includes several important distinctions. It consists of three components necessities, lacks, and wants. Nation and McAllister, 2010, 25, explain briefly that necessities fit into required knowledge, lacks relate to present knowledge, and wants fit into subjective needs. 1. Necessities. The concept necessities is an important component to identify the aspects of an ESP curriculum that students need. 
necessities are the academic or occupational requirements of the target situation, that is, what the learner has to know in order to function effectively in the target situation. Necessities represent the final objectives, they show what the learners are able to do at the end of the English course. According to All Right, 1982, wants is the skills which a student sees as being relevant to himself or herself. Robinson, 1991, 7, claims that needs are perhaps more appropriately described as objectives to be achieved. It is imperative that students should know and understand the functional, structural, and lexical elements commonly used in specific situations. 2. Lacks. Lacks refer to the proficiency level and background of the learners. They also refer to what the learners lack in order to reach the required level of proficiency. Lacks are what the learners already know and what they are deficient in, i.e., what they ignore or cannot perform in English. Subsequently, lacks are the gaps between the initial or actual situation of the learners in terms of language proficiency or aptitudes, and the one which is required after the accomplishment of the language training. In order to identify the lacks, we look at the level of language proficiency they have already achieved. Having a clear idea will allow us to assess how far they need to go in order to fulfill the above requirements. We can gauge how well they understand a question based on the data collected from the preset questionnaire. When the instructor observes the most common mistakes, lacks, it is possible to determine the type of material that should be used to help the students learn correct English, necessities. Sometimes, despite the fact that students' ideas are clear, they cannot properly express them due to their lack of fluency in English. It is therefore necessary to match the target proficiency with the existing proficiency of the learners. In this case, the gap can be referred to as the learner's lacks. 3. Wants. Wants are the personal aims that learners like to get from the language course. They reflect learners' personal expectations and hopes towards acquiring English from the language course. Usually, these needs are very personal, therefore they are sometimes called subjective. In fact, these wants are very real and may conflict with the necessities as perceived by the employer. Therefore ways must be found to accommodate them. In this respect, individuals' wants cannot all be accounted for, however, the wants of the majority can be discussed and partially met. The opinions of the learners and related opinions must be taken into account and analyzed. Rich Terich, R., and Chancellor, J., L., 1980. 29. Comment. A need does not exist independent of a person. It is people who build their images of their needs on the basis of data relating to themselves and their environment. The learners play a significant role in the teaching learning process. Therefore, the course designers should take into account the learners' opinions, also known as their wants. Learning needs. Learning needs are what learners need to do in order to learn. Researchers have looked at target needs and learning needs as well as necessities, lacks, and wants when designing an English course for lawyers, doctors, engineers, or technical and business students. Learning needs show how the students will be able to move from the starting point, lacks, to the final destination, necessities. Xiao, 2007-2, defines the learning needs as Factors that affect the learning like attitude, motivation, awareness, personality, learning styles and strategies, together with the social background. For example, learners may be greatly motivated in the subject or work, but may completely lose interest with the long, boring, and old teaching material. This can be solved by taking in special English language courses that bridges their area-specific knowledge with their English language proficiency. Also, intellectual and interpersonal communication can be ensured through the practice of English related to a specific domain since it is widely used as an international language. The Importance of Needs Analysis Hutchinson and Waters, 1987 claim that it is naive to base a course design simply on the target objectives and that the learning situation must also be taken into account. They added that the target situation alone is not a reliable indicator and that the conditions of the learning situation, the learner's knowledge, skills, strategies, motivation for learning, 
the setting and the time loud are of prime importance. The learning process should be enjoyable, fulfilling, manageable, and generative. It is not concerned with knowing, but with the learning. Once the learner's needs are clearly identified the ESP course designer can move on to the following step that is, syllabus design. Munby, 1978-40, points out that, syllabus specification in ESP can only take place after the prior and necessary work has been done on needs. Course designers need to analyze the learner learning needs according to their motivation, the conditions of the learning situation, and their existing knowledge and skills. Conclusion ESP is an approach to learning English, which is based on the learner's needs. Students from different specialities face difficulties with all four aspects of language, namely listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Research has shown that students struggle to understand lectures and speeches delivered in English. They are hesitant to speak English in class. Further, their reading skills are very poor. When they try to write, they encounter numerous challenges. One of the major reasons why they cannot efficiently deal with the language is their lack of language knowledge. Thus, it is essential to analyze the target needs and learning needs of a specific group of learners in order to solve their problems.